Well, well, well. Is anyone surprised at what's happening with Brexit? I have to admit that the night of the referendum was one, if not the greatest night of my life. Forget meeting my wife, the birth of my children, or even Man United winning the treble. Brexit was an amazing night. So how did I spend that night, I hear you cry? Well, I spent the night messaging a friend that I have never met via Twitter. Weird how this world works, isn't it? Anyway, back to today. Now, we all know that Theresa May is a Remainer. She wants us to stay in the EU and the deal she has negotiated, and I use the term very loosely, will in fact do just that. Keep us in the EU. This is of course until the EU agreed to us being allowed to be removed from their grasp. Which, as anyone who studied the EU knows very well, probably won't ever happen. You see, the EU was created to control countries. It's all about power for the EU. So why, when power over countries is what they want, why are they going to give that up if they don't have to? They will just make every excuse under the sun to keep us continually tied to them. It makes me laugh when people say that we need to stay in the EU so that we have a voice at the table. Jeez, these people are so naive. Let me let you into a little secret. The EU do not give a shit what their member countries think or want. The EU will get what the EU wants. And if it doesn't get what they want, they'll simply force another referendum until they do get the answer that they want. But in the case of this Brexit deal, it gets even worse, because we'll have to obey EU laws and the European Court of Justice without even having a ceremonial person in the room anywhere. May I remind you that the EU is run by unelected bureaucrats, that you didn't vote into power, and that you can never hold to account. May I also remind you that remaining in the EU is not the status quo. We won't stay where we are within the EU. Look at them already talking about an EU army, despite Nick Clegg saying that an EU army was pure fantasy back in 2014. Who knows where this political project will end? Personally, I believe Theresa May has negotiated this deal in such a way that she wants everybody to hate it so that the Remainers and Brexiteers will unite in hating the deal, so much that down the line we'll be told that the only option the people have is a second referendum. You can read Theresa May like a book, and certainly not a very good book. She's manipulated this situation to make it that the only choice people think is available once her sellout deal is voted down by Parliament will be a second referendum. No one in their right mind can support this deal. But what comes after? Do we really want a second referendum? What if Leave win again? Do we have a third? I think Theresa May should be tried for treason against the United Kingdom. She sold us down the river with this one. Do you see how she dropped in the other day that there may be no Brexit if her sellout deal isn't passed? Or just wait, I bet in a week or two she'll start throwing up the idea of a second referendum. She said she won't have a second referendum, but after all she's a politician, and as we all know, politicians lie all of the time. Interesting times ahead because I see blood on the streets if Brexit doesn't happen.